Dana Cataldi with Partners Trust in Brentwood, and I'm here with my friend um, and sports agent Richard Moxkin, who works for Wasserman Media, which is an LA based sports agency. Um, they rep not only players on, on the Galaxy, but in all of the different sports teams um, basketball, baseball. And I'm here to talk to him a little bit about what it means to work in the sports industry and live here in LA. I want to talk to Richard a little bit today just about sports in LA in general, being an agent for sports teams. Um, he reps players such as um, uh, Len Donovan, and it's just such an interesting game here now with Beckham on the team and whatnot, the Galaxy. And I just want to talk to him a little bit about what it means to be an agent um, for sports teams in LA. So, Richard, hello. I work for a big sports agency called Wasserman Media Group, and I have this office here, which is nice in uh, West Los Angeles. but. How did I start? I started many years ago, 20 years ago. I became a lawyer, and I was just practicing law like a lot of young lawyers out there trying to figure out how can I break into the sports world because I love sports. But to be fair, I knew nothing about soccer, zero. I grew up on baseball, basketball, football. And as it turns out, in 1994, the World Cup was in Los Angeles, and I was fortunate enough to get hired to run business and legal affairs for the World Cup. And it was one of those opportunities that just presented itself to me, and I just said, you know, why not? I didn't know anything about soccer, but it seemed like a good way to sort of get my foot in the door, and, and now here I am 20 years later. After the World Cup, I started my own business representing professional soccer players, and I started off by myself, and uh, over the years grew the business, and then got acquired by a big sports agency, Wasserman Media Group, where I now help run the worldwide football, as it's called everywhere else, slash soccer practice. Mm -hmm. And I know we've been, uh, my family's been with Richard's family at a lot of the games, and it's great, I think, in L.A., um, just because you have the AYSO, which is our big, you know, the big soccer league for the kids, and then we're able to go to a, a Galaxy game with Richard's family and see, you know, Beckham and Donovan in action, and it's just a great, it seems like sports, people don't think of L.A. as a sports town, per se. But um, the sports here, I think, are absolutely amazing. And I want Richard to tell a little bit about you know, how, you, how you view the sports here in L.A. No, I think the sports world is, you know, I mean, I think we live in the entertainment capital of the world, and sports is entertainment. And so whether you've got Kobe Bryant on the Lakers, who just broke the all-time scoring record for the Lakers yesterday, or you've got, as Dana indicated, David Beckham and Landon Donovan with the Galaxy, um, it's really, it's, a, it's just a great, fun place to be because, you know, you can go to Staples Center, Home Depot Center, a lot of different places to watch sports, but more importantly, with all of us who have young kids, get outside and play sports, and as I said, the, the ability to have sports heroes as icons for our children, to motivate them and encourage them, I think is great, and we have sort of all of that in L.A., along with some nice weather. Uh-huh, and do you have a favorite soccer moment? Um, do I have a favorite soccer moment? That's a good question. I think that because of what I do, which is such a relationship-oriented business, my favorite moments are when my clients do well. Um, and so a couple that come to mind would be, you know, my first client ever was Alexi Lawless, who was the big star from the World Cup in 94 with the red hair and red goatee. And he went to Italy and he had this really memorable game at the end of his first season there where he had to go into a playoff game to see whether his team was going to stay in the top league or get relegated and it was a game that I saw live in Florence and it went to penalty kicks and his team won and it was just the excitement in that stadium was just you know and the tension was palpable you can't really describe it and what it meant to each team whether you stayed up or went down was literally tens of millions of dollars so it was, you know, those are that kind of moment or seeing somebody like Landon Donovan in the World Cup scoring goals. Those are the things you remember the most. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you, Richard. Well, thanks for having me.